Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be sharing with you a TBR for a readathon that I decided to join in on last minute. It is called the Feel Good Athon, and it is a readathon that, as you can tell by the title, focuses on just making you feel good and reading books that you enjoy and just want to read. There are 10 reading prompts, and then there are also 10 like self care kind of prompts. Things like reading outside or meditating. I just made both of those up. I honestly don't know if they're on there, but I thought this would be a fun readathon for me to join in on because I've been feeling pretty crap lately, so I thought some of the things in the challenges and stuff would help me just take a second for myself and just feel good, as the title suggests. So I quickly just scrambled around and picked out some books that fit the 10 challenges. The readathon is two weeks long, so it starts June 1st through June 14th, which I like a nice long readathon, and there are 10 um, reading challenges and I picked out I think seven books so that would be about a book every two days which I think is reasonably doable for me so yeah let's just get started with the books on my TBR so the first challenge is a book you have high hopes for so for this I picked out the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle I tried to fulfill a lot of these challenges with with books that I already had on my June TBR. So this book, I've talked about it a lot, um, but it is a mystery slash maybe a thriller book. It's been compared a lot to Agatha Christie and Clue, which are two of my favorite things. So needless to say, I have very, very high hopes for this book. Hopefully not too high that I'm disappointed. The second challenge is to read a short book. Now, tragically, I never have short books on my TBR, which is probably why I fail at a lot of readathons because I'm constantly trying to do them with really long books. But the shortest book I was able to find is Star Wars A New Hope, The Princess, The Scoundrel, and The Farm Boy. I think this is just like a novelization of the film, but this is a little over 300 pages, so this is the shortest book I got. Challenge three is to finish or continue a series. So we have another Star Wars book. This is Champions of the Force um, by Kevin J. Anderson. It's volume three of the Jedi Academy series. This is not canon, but I read the first book last year and it's horribly written, but it's very entertaining. So I read the second book just like last month or something and now I'm moving on to the third and final book, which is hopefully just as entertaining as the first two. Challenge four is a book with your favorite trope. Now I don't like when any of these tropes challenges pop up in readathons because I truly just don't really have a favorite trope like any of them could can be good if they're done well but one that I tend to be drawn to that I really really like is kind of like tragic love stories or like forbidden love so for this I picked out The Betrothed by Kira Kess now hear me out on how this works into the thing but this book is basically about a girl who ends up being chosen by the king to like be his wife I assume but then she ends up falling in love with somebody else and that reminds me a lot of Heartless which is the Queen of Hearts origin story where she catches the attention of the King of Hearts and he wants to marry her but she end up ends up falling in love with the court's jester and I just love that and to me that is like a forbidden love because if you're like betrothed to somebody and then fall in love with somebody else obviously that would be forbidden so I'm really hoping to get that kind of thing out of this book so this is the book for that challenge. Challenge 5 is a book you picked up because you love the cover. Now shockingly I don't buy a lot of books just based off of their cover. Like genuinely if I don't like the synopsis I won't buy a book or even get it from the library which I know I seem to never know what the synopsis of any of my books are but usually I read it once and it intrigues me and I add it to my Goodreads and then I forget about it. So I can like a book because of the cover, but inherently it was because of the synopsis that I added it to my Goodreads or bought it or whatever. So I don't really have a book for this challenge, but this is gorgeous. Honestly, you could say I picked this up just because of the end pages, like they are gorgeous. So we're just going to use this book for this challenge also. Challenge six is to read a host's favorite book. So out of all of the host picks, which I think each host picked about five books, so there were a lot to choose from, but out of all of them there were only two books that I already owned that I hadn't already read and that would be Ninth House by Lee Bardugo and also An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I think this was the book that was on there. I'm starting to question if uh, I was thinking of a different book. But yeah, I wasn't planning on reading these books anytime soon, but it looks like I'm going to. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one of these you think I should pick up. Challenge seven is to buddy read a book. This is the only challenge that I'm just like, I don't know about because I'm like kind of a really cruddy buddy reader. I'm just not very good at communicating. I'm much more of a like 
in-person kind of thing otherwise I don't really talk to anybody so um yeah I don't have a book or a buddy for this challenge but I mean if anybody wants to buddy read one of these books let me know in the comments but I can't promise you that I'm gonna be any good at it. Challenge 8 is to reread an old favorite so for this I'm going to be reading The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I was planning on rereading this series anyway in preparation of reading The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes which I got the other day and I'm very tempted to pick up but I really want to reread the trilogy first so this will be my third time reading this book and I'm very very excited about it. Challenge 9 is to read a book younger you would have loved so I've got a couple of books on here that I think younger me would have loved. The first one would be The Betrothed. I've heard a lot of not so good reviews about this book but I think had I read had this book come out when I was a bit younger and I was reading the selection and stuff like that I think I would have probably eaten this book up and also The Hunger Games because younger me did love this book and now I'm about to read it and love it again. And challenge 10 is to read a book by an author you haven't read before so quite a few of these books could fit that challenge. I've never read by this author before, I've never read by this author before, and I've never read by this author before. So that's three books that could possibly complete this challenge. So that is the end of my TBR. It has also started pouring rain outside, so I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, if you want to buddy read any of them. Again, can't promise I'm going to be any good at buddy reading it, but I'll try my best. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye! You hear that, Samson?